Last week on Maikana, we got to taste a mouth-watering dessert, pure Fijian vanilla panna cotta with caramelized popo, the second dessert on the show so far. This week, it's tuna escabesh, something similar to coconda but without the lolo. Let's now meet Dom and George at GPH and see how it's done. Hola, welcome to Maikana. As you can Hola. see, we're still at the uh, GPH. Hola, George. Hola. My partner in crime here, doing, doing all the work for the change. As you can see, Suva in the background, Suva Harbour. Another gloomy day, just finished raining. But yeah, we've got a, today. yeah, it's really nice, nice and cool. Yeah. Yeah, normally it's Not too hot. Co quite hot. Now today we've got a quite a special dish because I've never come across this dish before. I, I, I eat sashimi mm -hmm. um, and I love my salad and I will have cooked tuna in a salad like a mm -hmm. niswa, mm -hmm. but I've never heard of this dish where you can actually combine the two together. Exactly. So that's, that's uh, a dish which comes from, it's quite traditional dish. It comes from the south of France. It comes uh, from the Riviera. And uh, it's, I would say, the, the south of France, Coconda. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. French yeah. Coconda. Yeah. I would say almost, yeah. Yes. yeah well, it's, it's called so escabeche. It's, it's a marinated, marinated fish with uh, white wine vinegar, with uh, chili, yep. with some garlic. A little bit of tomato paste we use, some coriander, some coriander seeds, some tarragon, a little bit of cum uh, cumin, parsley, onions, olive oil. Very simple. So, I mean, basically, these, these are very, very similar ingredients to what we'd have a with a coconda. More or less. Without, without yeah. the, without um, the we'd have the chopped tomatoes and, and uh, chopped probably tomatoes. wouldn't put any garlic in, but we'd definitely have the coriander and the chili yeah, yeah. and onions. So, yeah, let's go. I'm, I'm hungry already. I think we will start maybe with the garlic. Yep. Chop it? Uh, or crush yeah, it? Yeah, chop it, chop it, chop it. How many of these do you want, uh, George? Uh, eight, I would say eight, eight yeah. yeah. Right, Raj has already told us he could eat that whole piece of tuna on his own. Yeah, so. yeah. And he's not exactly the biggest guy in the world. No, really not, yeah. I was just thinking it's, it's, it's quite uh, amusing that just about every cuisine, this is the start, apart from English. So even well, the even English the curries, also, yeah, well. yeah, to a certain extent, we don't. The, the traditional food doesn't have a lot of garlic. Ah, no, you mean the garlic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah of but course. It, but it just I mean, anywhere else in the world, in Europe, in Asia, um, South America, garlic, yeah, most, onions, most of the cuisine is and it's true, just yeah. it just starts it off. Yeah, yeah. Here we have the onions. In, yeah. All that in there? Uh, this goes in a pot. I will give you okay. a pot. Yeah. So because we, we want to keep the onions yes, fresh. Fresh and raw. Yep. That's just white wine vinegar? White wine, plain white wine vinegar, yeah. simple. Yeah. Yeah. Only white wine vinegar. Chili and maybe you can chop some... some uh, coriander? Coriander, mm. the, the parsley. Yep. Finely chopped or you just... Uh, finely chopped, yeah. yeah, it should be quite fine chopped. Fine chopped, it's not okay. So the, the cooking is for the, the sauce? Or the vinegar, it's like a cooked vinegar. It's a marinade actually. Marinade. Okay. It's a marinade. It's a sauce, yeah, it's a marinade. But it stays in uh, or do you drain it off? Um I will I will drain it off. Yeah. The herbs the herbs are not going into the pot. The herbs yeah. will come with the onions together. Yes. The fresh herbs. Uh, into the pot we're going to put the chili, we're going to put uh, the cumin, the coriander. The, the dry coriander yep. seeds. So the marinade is cooked. The marinade is yeah, cooked, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it will it will slightly cook the the, fish. the, the tuna yeah. uh, through the acidity of uh, yes. of the vinegar so and a little bit from the heat and from the heat, yeah, yeah. exactly. For actually, both. Yeah. Is that fine enough? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine. Straight in the pot? No, uh, in, in oh, the oven. Yeah. 
parsley too. About the same amount as that? Or a bit mm, more? A bit more parsley. Parsley should be a bit more, yeah. Just a little bit of, a bit of cumin. And we crush some coriander. That's jira. Jira, yeah. A little, yeah. Bit of, little bit of jira. Jira. So everything is readily available here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In there again? Oh. Yeah, here again, yeah, exactly. The tarragon and the parsley goes everything inside. I'm going to put here two spoons of, one half spoon of um, tomato paste. You can, actually, you can actually make that at home. You just get a, what I do is I get a whole tin of tomato, just a normal tin, mm -hmm. put it in a blender for one whiz, yeah. strain the seeds and the pulp out. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, big knob of butter, and then you juice it down to about 20%. Yeah. Gives you exactly that, and very cheap. Right now we're going to cut the Tuna. This is a nice fresh tuna, beautiful. Yellow fin tuna. That's yeah, lovely. Yeah. By the way, fish about that size, eh? Yeah, that's, that was a big one. Yeah. That was a big one. So I cut one centimeter dice. Yep. Yeah. Dice first. Not too big, because if it's too thick, you will... Uh, it's a bit, bit too raw. And... Yeah, well, it depends how you like it. Yeah. If you like really raw fish, uh, it's not a big deal. But everybody, but yeah, it's... serving it to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Try to make it regular, it's mm. important. Yes. Because if you... You have different... Different, different sizes. Cooked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the one will be overcooked and the other one will be completely raw, right? So, as I said, if if you don't like raw fish, if you don't like 100% raw fish, mm. you just let it marinate for longer. Okay, so you could do it if they, they could do it overnight if necessary. Yeah, yeah. exactly. If we do yeah. it overnight, then it's. Um, I think just about everybody here would just do it for 20 minutes or so, and yeah, or yeah. maybe just yeah, as soon as the sauce was poured. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but those would be quite tart flavors, wouldn't they? Yeah, it will be it will be a bit spicy. It will be a little bit sour. The flavor is really rich, rich, and it fits also very nice with this uh, smooth and uh, soft, almost sweet taste of tuna. Yes, yes, yes. I can actually taste this with a um, nice thinly sliced dal or even cassava. It'd be on the side. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's boiling, so I. Just ask you to yeah, fold it. To fold it, yeah. Yeah, one, two, three, go. Oh man, the smell is fantastic. You can really smell the acid. Now, as I said, uh, if you want it a bit less acid, yeah, so you, just... can, you can see the tuna starting to just go a little bit paler and whiter. Yeah. You just then. Um, Add a bit of white wine. It's not so strong. The other trick to, um, if people don't like raw onions or so much raw onions, you can soak the onions in water for about half an hour. Exactly. And they, it takes the, the heat out, but it doesn't and leaves the sweetness. Of that, the onions. Uh, you can t still taste the onions, yep. but you don't get the, them biting back too much. Exactly. All right. All right. Now so, we're going to add the most important ingredient. Beautiful, nice. Extra virgin olive oil. Yep. Now, what I usually do is I tell people that um, if they can't find olive oil mm -hmm. to use a substitute, but I wouldn't substitute anything. No, for no, this. no, no. This yeah. is uh, olive oil is really yeah. important and a very nice one. Extra virgin, cold yes. pressure. Yeah. Cold pressure. Why? Because olive oil is extremely sensitive. Yes, you don't want to heat it up. And uh, yeah, it should not be. Heated so up. just look for your cold pressed extra virgin olive oil. You can buy a little bottle, but I tell yeah. you what, once you buy that. You'll be using it for everything. Yeah. Of course, pepper. We put chili, but pepper is still, still, still pepper. necessary. Yeah. And 
At the end? Yes. Not at the beginning. Yes. At the end, we put the salt. Why not Be at the beginning? Because it's... It will go into the fish and... It will go and yeah. burn the fish actually yeah. Yeah, already. Yeah. So what are we going to do now? We're going to keep it in the, in the cooler for around uh, 20 minutes until yep. it will be nice cool down. It should be nice fresh. Right? It should not yes. be warm. It's uh, supposed to chilled. be chilled. Yeah. yeah. Nice chilled. But that's just about finished. That stays in the fridge for 20 minutes? Yeah, now it's around 20 minutes. We have but, it in the fridge. But you put it overnight if you really want your fish marinated right through. I prefer it a little bit raw. Um, now we're just going to do the presentation. The, the presentation, it? we're going to set the, the salad. So I did the familiar style. So I did one bowl. Yes. I'm slicing now some, some spring onions. Spring onions. Yeah, just spring onions. Now we're using the, the green bits, not the not the white bits for this. Well, we can use yeah. both. We will spread them over the the fish at the mm. end. It's more decorative than something else. Huh? Yes. Well, because we have already quite a lot of onions inside. Yes. And quite a lot of herbs too. There's a and herbs, lot of flavors yeah. in there. Yeah. Is, yeah, but it's not overpowering. Yeah, yeah. It should yeah. not overpower because the, the the taste of the of the fish should be still there, you know? and uh, it should be harmonious. Yes, harmonious is the right word. Harmonious is perfect. Yeah, yeah. and experiment a little bit. Yeah, that's yeah. where that's where the good dishes come from. Is the yeah not the ones that do it all the same. It's the ones that do something slightly different. Ex exactly. All right. I have here a bit of salads. Radicchio, some pizze, some uh, coral leaf, lettuce. I want just to put a little bit mm. around and... Uh, just like a nest. Just like a, yeah, just more or less like a nest, yeah. And the fish will come in the, in the middle of that. That's also up to you. You can put lemon, mm. you can put whatever you is ordinary lettuce. Mm. Again, it should be harmonious. If it's yes. not harmonious, I'm not going to put pineapple with, with no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, with tuna, <laughs> it's cabbage. It doesn't make sense. Pineapple is good with pineapple. Yeah, exactly. Well, you can do it with pork. You can mm. do it with mm. duck. Mm. You can do it with many things. But not necessarily with fish. I think one of the things about that I fall down on cooking is I just chuck everything on the plate and, and eat it. And it's, with a little bit of thought, you can really do a nice presentation like that. And it's, it doesn't take much, just a few leaves done the right way. It looks absolutely perfect. As you can see now, it's a little bit more white. Yes. The onions are al dente. Mm. It means half, mm -hmm. half cooked. Yeah. Just, the... just softened a little bit. Yeah, right? yeah. Of course, it depends. They should be sliced quite thin. Yes, huh? yes, it's yeah. quite important. Yes, otherwise you get uh, big raw chunks onions, yeah, and then it'll overpower the yeah the whole thing. So now we just simply put it inside. Yeah. I don't know. So next time you're doing a family do, instead of doing a kakonda like the normal staples, chili, um, curry. Chop suey, kakonda, palasami. Just cut your fish up. Like, could you use another fish? Um, you can use another yeah. fish. A Spanish a, mackerel is nice. nice. Yes. Walu, wahoo. Wahoo's wahoo. Good. Wahoo yeah. could be nice yes. too. Spanish mackerel is, is very nice with that. Yeah. Huh? You can also so, use sardines. Ah, that, Fresh that sardines in fillet. Yes, yes, yes. And you put them differently. You put them then in a in a in a long tray, tray. Yes. put them just to fill it like this, yes, yes, yes. and you put the marinade at the top of it. Oh, that's for me. <laughs> Fantastic. <clears throat> Fantastic. Voila. Bon appétit. I would have no problem finishing this on my own. One person. No problem. <laughs> Excellent. And the proper name? Escabeche. Escabeche. Oh, before I forget, the recipe for this can be found on the My Kana Facebook group. Um, we're coming very close to 30,000 members. Uh, so get up there before someone else gets the recipe ahead of you and uh, enjoy it.
Um, t from start to finish, apart from the marination, took maybe 10, 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah, okay. including chopping all the vegetables. Mm -hmm. Another 20 minutes for marination, and then you're ready to eat. Before I forget, don't forget to enter the Maikanas uh, signature dish recipe competition. All the details are up, it's pinned on top of the Facebook page. Get your entries in now, and you could be winning, I'll give you a clue, something around here. See you there, bye there.